a breezy Saturday night in Fort Lauderdale. A quick glance at Miami's home record sponsored team. A little bit off balance, as Kalen said. Maybe needs to be a little bit of an adjustment from the back four. And well, one of the, the pressure was pandemic. We one of the strengths that we were looking out for has been non evident in times uh, last, last season. season. For Miami. Yeah. Meanwhile, here's Lewis Morgan calibrating either the left of Morgan or the right of Federico Higuain. Federico goes for goal and it's tipped away by Pantemis. Well, sensational. Allows again, going back to my point that I made earlier on, Robinson and Morgan staying a little bit higher. A lot of trust in that move. It's a good ball by Mihailovic for Hamdi. Schwanieras options into the area. Oh, Torres wow. punched down by Marsman. Follow up! And Torres has the breakthrough for Montreal. A this, second chance and a killer for Miami. Yeah. It's 1-0 to the Canadian club. Again, still this type of challenge on the goalkeeper if it had occurred. I think maybe give and take a look. It's a beautiful ball played in. Marsman comes and tries to get it. But the big clashing rock that's coming into him is just too much. It's a lovely play again from Hamdi and feeds the outside man, Chanier. Danger played into the area, doesn't quite hold onto it, and it's just put onto the welcome mat, onto the welcome mat for Joaquin Torres, a quality little player. Skew again comes flying out where the cleats are flying and that doesn't make any difference. He gets enough on it, but then he cannot bounce back up again. And then it's just rifled home in the end. From both sides for into Miami, but nothing into his wheelhouse that he can really capitalize on yet. And Federico Higuain perhaps coming closest to it on that uh, free kick. Surprising uh, Pantemis, but he dealt with it well. To play against his father, believe it or not, in the North American Soccer League, Mihailovic. He played for in the numbers in the box. And the final pass into that area has just been a little short of what it should be. And the ball rolls in the second half in South Florida. Down one to nil against. Uh, he is struggling to find the back of the net. He's still the top man, but certainly the white shirts have got to start finding Gonzalo with a lot more accuracy. Early cross from Morgan there was deflected. Here is Gonzalo settled. Gonzalo on his right. Iguain losing his balance. Still a chance. Federico tripped up in the box, and it's a pet Argentina man. Tiguain from the spot. And he's buried it past Pantemis. It's all level to drive pink. Federico drew it. Gonzalo took it. And the brothers. It's Pantemis the wrong way. And that is always a big, big boost to your confidence. When you read it, you gamble, and it comes off. He's holding, and that's a wonderful little touch past the goalkeeper. He's seeing him moving to the right already. And again, sometimes it's a gamble. You read the goalkeeper going one way, and then the goalkeeper will check his dive and go the other. And you end up looking like a fool of the penalty taken by Victor Ayua. Moving on the Miami bench. So a handful of players are up, limbering up. Here's Montreal with Broke Yard. Lovely skill by Torres on the ball. Silky smooth toward the penalty spot. Head over heels. was behind. Well, Joaquin Torres showing how they breed the footballers in Argentina. And Wonderful Rosario play. in particular. Lovely. Dis in that 1-1 draw against Philadelphia. Prior to that, Robbie Robinson opener. Miami had 16 to 18 sequences of eight or more passes. And after that goal, just one. Said the team was retreating and in survival mode. There was a lot of football left to play in this second half. And there are still two points. And this one seemed to be for dissent. Yeah, I was going to say, for what? Gorgeous skill on the ball from Joaquin Torres. And this one falls for Mason Toy. Montreal looking for the opener. Toy off target. And he lets Miami off the hook. 
Well, the only way you can describe this is a garlic milkshake of a finish. After beautiful football engineered by Joaquin Torres, the flick on from the big man Mihalovic sets him up beautifully. Little Torres finds him exquisitely, lovely control. Rounds the goalkeeper, does all the hard. It's possessed, taken away by the captain Juan Yama. Good effort from Iguain to win it back. Iguain is fouled, free kick for Miami, and this from a good position. Ten minutes gone in the second half. Well, an acquisition, Joaquin Torres. Rogiar, Robinson scrambles back. It's one Yama. Not a bad switch at all as Schwanier brings it down inside of the box. Schwanier pulled back for Torres. Struck it as it came, and he's always a danger. Hamdi, and this one set up. Again, looking at someone like Shea or Vasilev. Familiar pattern of play now as they find Schwanier in the near side. The overlap from Mihailovic pulled back. Nico Figal dealt with it. This is Morgan now. Just on a move. Camacho. What? Held on to the ball too long. It's Gonzalo Higuain. And on the bounce, Higuain has fired Miami into the lead. Pantemis got a hold of it, but he could not keep it out. It's a brace for Gonzalo. It's May who sets. The domino is falling with good pressure. There's two white shirts attack this ball. Take a look as this ball pops free. Right here. And that's what opens the door. And he flame throws this one. A stinging set too hot to handle. Tremendous strike. Right on target. He targets. He gets caught with his hands in a cookie jar here. And again, two against one on the defender and it falls to Gonzalo and quick as a bee's eye he picks his spot and Nikita Iguayi now seven goals on this season seven of Miami's 12 on the campaign he's got a couple of assists as well and nothing better for a goal disco time Oh, the cooling break concluded. Let's check in with our pitch side spy, Kaelin Kyle. <laughs> I like that, the pitch side spy. Just one thing that's really stuck out to me is I keep going. See, preparing to bring on the man who scored uh, both of his MLS goals oh, so far against Miami. That's a oh, lovely ball from Iguain. Robbie Robinson on his right. Robinson! Denied by Pantemis. Fabulous play from Gonzalo Iguain. Beautiful Lynx eye vision from... Lifted into it the other to six. Well, Marshman, he was all over it. Read it beautifully. Not the best free kick. Wait. It's Matuidi. Wins a free kick for Miami. There's Mihailovic. Giving time to survey his options. Waterman is catapulted to the edge of the 18. What? Marshman comes off his line and collects. Sure handed the Dutchman. Oh, this could have been a calamity. Nico Figal comes driving in, and Pires with him. But again, the goalkeeper showing his class and his experience. All of the substitutions exhausted. Some of the players are too. Phil Neville still engineering everything, like evidence of Joey Saputo, the owner, and recognizes it. That tall striker, Jorn Janssen. What? Very much in survival mode right now as Mason Toy has a go. It's lifted over the bar. It's just going goal kick. direct route one football now. Get it into the mix up. English style, but the Argentina man, he's like T Rex back there, and he is demanding more from his players to mark up tight again. He cannot take one step away from this team who is urgently looking for this. Equalizer and coming that way. Johnson up front there with six foot five height. Robbie Robinson, on. the flag is stayed down. It's Robinson. Side. Morgan it's bursting along to get forward. 
Vasilev making the run of the back post. It's Robinson on his left. Robinson! Oh. Everything Why's right for the finish. What's decision to make here? Offside. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> it because it's these decisions that the young lads got to learn from. Well, there is the final whistle as Miami pick up their first home win of the season. They beat Montreal coming back from a goal down to a 2-1 win.